Guys, I'm hooked up with a giant smallmouth. One of the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. Holy shit. Any old John boat out. It's kind of windy. That's a couple of times I've taken her out on the river. It's a little sketch. Stop doing that. We got like 50 mile per hour winds coming out of the south southwest. Not ideal. We got some white caps. Plan is to go on the main river, but if it gets too bad, I'm gonna stay in this creek probably. We'll see how it goes. Guys, I'm hooked up with a giant smallmouth. One of the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm so scared. Dude, look at the size of this smallmouth. Look at the size of this smallmouth. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, guys. New PB smallmouth. Wow, look at the size of that. <laughs> Might have got excited, he's not a new PB. He sure seemed like it. Holy shit. Wow, I can't believe it. I cannot freaking believe it. I have my scale too. Oh, wow, that is freaking insane, guys. Holy shit. But <laughs> camera wasn't working. Oh my god, look at the size of this. Look at the picture. I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. I mean, this is a massive, massive fish. Unreal. I'm out here hiding from the wind. This, I mean, this thing's gotta be five pounds. It's freaking insane, guys. Four seven. <laughs> Definitely not a PB, but probably the second biggest smallmouth I've ever caught on the Ohio River. Wow. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy. I mean, that, it's unreal. I got a tape somewhere. Okay, okay. Yeah, 21. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Angle's weird. 21 inches. Right. 21 inches. I get him some water. Not ready to let him go yet. Not ready to let him go yet. That is unreal, guys. Wow. I gotta calm down. collect myself a little bit now and I'm in the water so we can breathe so a little backstory on what's going on um, put my John boat out was having engine problems because I had bad gas because I left the carb open on the tank and got water in the gas so put out on this creek which is right by the mouth of the river and uh, I got the engine started it took me a while it took me about 40 minutes and then uh, I've been waiting because there's like five foot rollers out there on the main river. I actually went out there for a little bit and it's just, it's nasty. So yeah, that's going on. Um, in here messing around, I was about to give up for the day. I'm right by the boat ramp, casting my little gulp finesse uh, bait in that I usually use for crappie. And I just caught probably the second biggest smallmouth I've ever caught on the Ohio River. It was four pounds, seven ounces, which it looks a lot bigger than that. 21 and a quarter inches long. And I mean, it is an absolute beast. I honestly thought the fish was gonna go six pounds. Just, I might weigh her again, cause something don't seem right. But just how long she was, 21 and a quarter. That's, that's a big smallmouth. And uh, I have never, I haven't hooked a fish this big on the Ohio River as far as smallmouth go since I was probably 16 years old. So half my lifetime ago. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm still freaking out. We're gonna let this fish go. I'm gonna keep him 
in the water and stuff. Just trying to get her acclimated. I mean, look at this freaking fish. We're gonna let her go. What a crazy fish. What a crazy fish. Unreal. Oh, that was awesome. Wow. Oh my god. Alright guys, well like I said, that was pretty insane. Uh, hate that my GoPro like always malfunctions when I'm in like some crazy moment. And I was so afraid to lose that because that was on like a little cheap, like cheap, cheap ultralight. I mean, I think I got this for like 20 bucks or something. I usually use it for like crappie. And uh, yeah, that was pretty intense. Real light line, real light reel. That was pretty wild. That was pretty crazy. And of course, like I said, GoPro wouldn't turn on. Finally got it on. You guys at least saw me net the thing. I guess I'm gonna fish a little more. <laughs> I mean, my day's complete, but I'm gonna fish a little more. Yeah, in case you were wondering, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know if I showed it in the video or not, but uh, I kept like putting the fish back in the water in the net and then like moving the boat with the trolling motor, or at least facing it in the current so that the fish could have uh, fresh oxygenated water going through its gills. So I need to get like a little live well for this thing though, because that was way too hectic. I had to keep putting the fish in the water get my camera situated she only brought one camera today because i wasn't expecting much to happen today those are always the days when when something crazy happens but yeah <laughs> that was wild yeah so i won't find any more fish a lot of bait in here i think i mentioned it before but the reason i'm in this creek right now is because there are like 20 mile per hour winds out there and white caps and little yachty you know she can do a lot but i don't know if i want to have her in those conditions definitely don't want to run to where i want to run I mean, you can hear the wind just in here even, but it's pretty calm in this creek. So yeah, I was kind of forced to fish in here and I would have definitely caught more fish out on the main river. I really doubt that I was gonna catch a small amount that size though. So it's kind of crazy how everything just kind of lined up and uh, put me in the right spot to catch that freaking monster fish. Oh my God. That fish hit like the simplest of baits. Got a quarter ounce black jig head. It doesn't have to be black, but I prefer black and just a little two and a half inch uh, gulp finesse minnow, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, just gulp minnow, two and a half inch, boom. And that fish hit it on the drop within like a second of me casting. Pretty crazy stuff. This little bait catches everything. Oh man, I love this boat. She just catches them. <laughs> 